the week. Welcome back. The 21st annual Tribeca Festival kicks off on Wednesday, and this year's lineup has something for everybody. That's right. Films, live talks with artists and celebrities, a music lounge. There's so much to talk about. And get this, you don't have to be here in New York. You can also enjoy this whole thing at home. Two-time Oscar winner Robert De Niro, you may have heard of him, and producer <laughs> Jane Rosenthal are the festival's founders. It's always good to see you. First of all, Mr. De Niro, yeah. we keep almost flubbing because we want to say Tribeca Film. Film Festival. Festival. It's been changed this year, Tribeca Festival. Why? Yeah. To encompass more things that we've always been doing, but um, that's basically what it is, but maybe she can give you yeah. more details. We've been doing films and AR and gaming and podcasts for years, so this way we can show, you know, it's, it's not just film. Film's always in our DNA. We have some amazing films at the festival this year, and uh, also we open with J-Lo's Halftime at the United Palace Can I just Theater. say, I'm it's so, okay, so give us eyes to you. see this. We want to know. So it's a documentary, and it, I know her football halftime show and Super Bowl halftime show's in it, but what is it all about? It's really about the perseverance and her artistry and getting the show that she wanted to perform at the halftime show, and there's also the political struggles in this. It, it's so good. It's definitely not what I thought about uh, Jennifer. I think when, when a lot of people think about the Tribeca Film Festival, they think, oh boy, if I ever get to New York, maybe I'll try to go there. But this is actually something, no matter where you live in the country, there's a way in, right? Yes, again. <laughs> Are you going to answer anything? Wait, can we just say getting up this early is a it's lot. It's not your favorite thing in the it's world. It's a lot. And actually, Bob, if you don't, you know, like Bob is always at the festival, but occasionally yeah. he likes to watch Tribeca at home mm. at home. Okay. Anyway, anyone can come come to our website and you'll see Tribeca at home and all the great movies. And Let me try this again. Talks. Tell me about the music lounge, Mr. De Niro. Let me get out my iPhone. Look at <laughs> Have you heard he's there with heat? No. Yes, Wait, what? we're doing a retrospective screening of Heat. Oh, are you being reunited with Al Pacino? Yeah, yeah. And uh, Michael Mann, Art Lentz, and the producer. Um, yeah, I don't know who else is going to come. It'll be. It's a spectacular print, and then there'll be Q and A's. Uh, What's that like when you're reunited with old friends like that? I, I think it's great. I mean, it, it, it's a nice. Uh, time to get together. It, I, I'm thinking it, we're sort of running out of movies of mine. <laughs> so we're going back either less years or way, way before many years, like you, Mean Streets and stuff. You've been part of this for so long. What, what do you get out of doing this Tribeca Film Festival? Well, we started it because of 9-11, yeah. and we had talked about doing festivals before that, but not seriously. And then when 9-11 happened, we thought this would be a way of revitalizing the neighborhood and so on. So that's how it really started. Um, and we never thought, uh, we always hear us say this, we never thought it would go on mm -hmm. for as long as it, it's going on. And that's great. That's part of the cultural fabric. I like to think of the city, even the country. And mm -hmm. so it's a great uh, thing. But Jane will tell you the details again. <laughs> <laughs> Over to you, James. But it's about true. You how always we did it. attract yeah. big talent yeah, as well. Course. Taylor Swift is involved Taylor, this year. Taylor Swift has a short film at the festival this year. Um, you'll also see um, Pharrell has, is doing a talk at the festival. Mm. Machine Gun Kelly is in a movie. Little Babies in a movie. Uh, there's also uh, Derek Jeter has a docu. What's uh, his? I don't know what his. Uh, that one? Captain. Uh, it's terrific. So so uh, Spike Lee will be interviewing him. There is a little of everything for, mm -hmm. for people at the festival. There's also a wonderful doc on uh, Jeremy Lin, on Lin's sanity and mm. what he went through. 80% um, of our films are made by uh, women and uh, BIPOC and LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's a great festival this year. There's also a number of uh, films that you can watch outside mm -hmm. for free. So it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. It's a celebration after the year we've been through, yeah, a couple of years it. we've been through. In this yeah. Love it, and everybody can get in on it. We'll put the details yeah. on it. Before we let you go, your colleague, your former co-star mm -hmm. Ray Liotta just mm -hmm. passed. Yeah, just your I, thoughts. Well, I, I didn't know Ray well. I mean, I always liked seeing him. He was a wonderful actor. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm very sad. He was too young, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm sad about that. Well, thank you both for coming today. Thank we you. really appreciate it. And we'll see you in Tribeca. Uh -huh. The festival, yeah. Tribeca Festival, begins <laughs> Wednesday. And if you want more on it, especially Tribeca at home and how you can get tickets, go to today.com.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.